Breaking! Sutherland Spring Church shooter identified as Devin Patrick Kelly. Now, guys, I know there's a lot of rumours going around, so we're going to deal with what we know, and then I'll talk about the rumours. US officers say the gunman behind the mass shooting at Sutherland Spring Church is 26-year-old Devin Patrick Kelly. Uh, photos of his Facebook are here. I'll put those on the screen. Devin Patrick Kelly has been identified as the gunman who opened fire on the church in Texas, a U.S. official tells the Daily Beast. Kelly, 26, was a resident of New Baffles, or I might be mispronouncing, a suburb of San Antonio. According to public records, Kelly was married. San Antonio police reported raided Kelly's home on Sunday evening. A LinkedIn account appeared to belong to Kelly describes him as serving in the U.S. forces from 2009 through his high school graduation until 2013, after which he briefly taught a summer Bible school, reports the Daily Beast. Earlier, the ABC News reported the gunman was white and in his mid-twenties. Authorities have preliminarily identified the Texas church shooter as a white male in his mid-twenties, from outside San Antonio, sources tell ABC News. According to ABC News, the shooter recently showed off his AR-15 style rifle on social media. Reports revealed San Antonio police are currently searching the home of the Sutherland Spring shooter, or church shooter, for explosive devices. Police are checking for explosive devices at the home of a man suspected of shooting and killing at least 27 people and wondering more than 20 in Southern Spring Church on Sunday. The San Antonio Police Department is sending a canine unit to the scene, an official told MySA.com, though it's unclear whether his home is. The shooter, now deceased, opened fire on a group of people at First Baptist. Now we also have a little bit more details regarding his service history. Uh, Devin Kelly was dishonorably discharged, court-martialed in 2014. It's actually against the law for him to own guns and firearms. Now, Kevin, uh, Devin Kelly was court-martialed in 2014 after being dishonorably discharged. Case number is NO14-0387-AF. Details sorry, US 1487 Devin P. Kelly. CCA 38267 and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now we also have some details regarding his attire and what he was actually wearing and this is where it's starting to get into the Antifa rumours but let's go through the facts. New details about the Sutherland Spring gunman Devin Kelly have emerged. According to reports Kelly wore all black clothing as he carried out the massacre, according to his now-deleted Facebook page, and yes, I've had a look, I can't find it anymore, it appears Kelly was a fan of CNN and atheism. Now, the Texas shooter suspect was dressed in all black with a tactical black-type gear and was wearing a ballistic vest. According to at TXDPS, I'll put a link into that Twitter account before, Let's make sure he doesn't end up dead. Now, Paul Joseph Watson from InfoWars has also found, uh, and I'll put a photo on the screen, CNN was one of his main likes. Um, author Atheism, uh, fuck it, whatever that is. Friendly Atheist, Atheist, LA Police Gear, Adult Humor, and Atheist Republic, etc, etc. Now, also, um, like, obviously, like all this sort of stuff, guys, there's always a hero in these stories. And this is actually a local armed citizen who pursued the killer in a vehicle after the mass shooting. The Democrats immediately called for gun control, yet it was an armed citizen who pursued Kelly, Kelly in a vehicle after the mass shooting. According to NBC, the shooter fled and was caught after a brief chase. Uh, the car drove off the road into a field. Local armed citizen originally pursued Kelly by vehicle after the shooting, um, and from what I was told, he's actually fed the directions to the police on 911, the Daily Beast reported. One witness told a KSAT reporter that he was dressed in full gear during a press conference in Sutherland Springs. State and local officers said that Kelly had an assault-type rifle 
and first fired outside the church before entering the building, the armed citizen pursued Kelly by vehicle after he left the church. So guys, what's this whole rumours and everything like that? Okay, so let's address that very, very quickly. Yes, I am fully aware there are rumours that he was a part of Antifa. That he actually went into the church, um, that there were two shooters, and that they draped the Antifa flag over the actual altar. Yournewswire.com has actually reported that he was an Antifa member who vowed to start a civil war. I'll put some details of that up on the screen. The gunner opened fire inside the church, uh, has identified as Devin Keller, an Antifa member who vowed to start a civil war by targeting white conservative churches and causing anarchy in the United States. Devin Kelly, who killed at least 27 people and injured many more, one of the two shooters in the church, according to eyewitnesses, who also reported Kelly carried an Antifa flag and told the churchgoers this is a communist revolution before unloading onto the congregation, reloading several times. That does sort of match up with the first report that we heard where there was multiple shots and it sounded like reloading. Um, I will put a copy of a text message that someone has got from yournewswire.com on the screen. Like I say, guys, these are rumours, so take them with a grain of salt. As for this Antifa angle, do I believe in it? And look, it is entirely possible. They did promise to start a civil war. Uh, this would be one of the opening salvos of that. And he was dressed in black, all black tactical gear, so... That does sort of make me wonder if this might be true. Like I say, it is rumours. Take it with a grain of salt. But it is something that's definitely interesting to find out a little bit more about. And I will be checking out later. Um, but guys, apart from that, like I say, the rest of the information we have is actual factual info. Um, only the Antifa is the rumour at the moment. Um, but let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you believe he was Antifa? Do you believe it? he wasn't? Let me know what your thoughts are and why. Apart from that, guys, if this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.